Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. The Brooks B17 has been widely regarded as kind of the go-to saddle for bike touring, but we've actually personally moved away from it. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you four saddles that we like as alternatives to the Brooks B17. Thanks for joining us again if you're a returning subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed, if you like bike touring, camera gear, coffee gear, fishing and trail running, and just general exploring of the outdoors, then consider subscribing to our channel. So let's jump right in. If you talk to many bike tourists, their kind of saddle of choice is a Brooks B17. When we first started touring back in 06 and 07, we also rode with a Brooks and uh, loved it. But since then, our preference have changed and kind of our opinions about the Brooks B17 in general. But uh, a couple of reasons we no longer ride with the Brooks is I feel like uh, around 2010 the quality of the leather had changed and it seemed to break down a lot quicker. We went through more saddles more quickly than those early ones that we purchased. Another reason is that the B17 generally has a uh, really short rail. So on some of our bikes, it was really hard to get good bike positioning with the B17 because of those short rails. And lastly, although the Brooks are fabled to kind of break in and really conform to your butt, there is a point when they break in too much. You know, there's, it's a point of no return and you can't bring the saddle back. Yes, you get a little wrench and there's this kind of adjustment screw, but what we found is that it doesn't really add support to where you need it. It just creates this kind of ridge for your taint, a taint ridge, which is not awesome. So what is it that we like about the B17 that we're trying to find the other saddles? Well, I think it's essentially two things. First one is that it had some squish, but it was still fairly supportive. It's not a big squishy saddle by any means, but there was a little bit of give. It also really supported your sit bones well. The second quality is that they were fairly wide and had a lot of kind of width for uh, your sit bones. It worked well for people with wide sit bones or that weren't riding super aggressively in the drops. So with those two qualities in mind, we went searching for saddles. But before I jump into our list, I do want to give a couple disclaimers. One, all bodies are different and so are our opinions. So these are our opinions uh, and they work for a riding style. So don't take it as gospel, but merely some options to think about if you're searching for a B17 replacement. And number two, kind of how you set up your bike really determines on how you're gonna sit on the saddle. Uh, so for example, if your handlebar is uh, above where your saddle is, then it's, it's gonna naturally make you wanna sit differently on the saddle as opposed to if your handlebars are lower than the saddle. So for these next saddle recommendations, we have the saddle and handlebars set up to just about level, if not a centimeter or two lower. So not super aggressive, but definitely not with a handlebar up here and the saddles down here. Number one is a great alternative that's actually fairly inexpensive and it's a charged spoon. It's known as kind of a mountain bike saddle, but we found that it works really well for bike touring. And what I like about it is that it has that kind of wide sit bone position and it's also firm, but there's a good amount of padding to it. This was actually the first non-Brooks saddle that I found that I really liked. Comes in a ton of colors. Uh, you can even get like a faux brown leather if you still want to maintain that classic Brooks look. If there's a downside to the spoon, it's that it's not gonna last forever. I found that I was getting a good year out of the saddle where some of the saddle coverings started to kind of tear and flop open. But at about 35 bucks a pop, it's not a bad saddle to try out and see if you like it. So the other saddle is the women's equivalent of the spoon, and this is a saddle that Laura loves. It's a charge ladle. So similar look and feel as a spoon, but way wider in the back. So Laura literally has this on every single bike from the Brompton to her Via to even her carbon road bike. And although it's women specific, you know, as a guy, it's, it's worth trying out there too. If the spoon's a little too narrow, just hop on the ladle. They look pretty much unisex. And like the spoon, it's got a nice wide area for the sit bones. It's kind of a fairly flattish shelf. The third saddle is the Physique Aliante Versus. The Physique is really known for their kind of high performance saddles like the Arion, but the Aliante is actually a fairly comfortable non-racy saddle. The way it's designed, it's meant for a rider that's not in a super aggressive position. So fa fairly upright, not bolt upright, 
but not like in the drops with a slammed uh, stem. What I like about it, it's got a lot of padding, but it's still kind of firm. It's got that same supportive give that the Brooks V17 has. It's also fairly wide in the sit bone area. Again, one downside is that this is by no means a cheap saddle like the like the Charge Spoon. The Alianti Versus is in the $100, $120 price range. I happen to get it on sale. But that said, uh, it's lived permanently on my Via for the last couple years and it shows no sign of excessive wear. Another thing I like about the saddle is that it's actually fairly padded for a physique saddle. So I find that even if I'm not wearing uh, bike shorts with a chamois, it's still super comfortable. And the last saddle I'm gonna recommend that I can't even believe I'm recommending is a Specialized Toupee, Toupe, who knows how to pronounce it. It's a road saddle, but like the other saddles that I mentioned before, it's got a fairly flat shelf. It's fairly wide in the back. They actually have this whole body geometry fitting system where you can sit on this kind of weird gel pad in a bike shop and measure your sit bones and buy a saddle of the appropriate width. So for me, uh, I have the Toupee, Hope, whatever it's called, in 143 millimeter and it actually comes in a 153. So there is a size wider than the one I have. So I use a saddle uh, pretty much on our Warbird. So whenever we do long gravel rides, um, I ride with the saddle. And again, it's supportive, but just a little bit of squish to, to be comfortable all day. I will say that unlike the Aliante, the the ride feel on this saddle is a little bit firmer. Uh, long days on the saddle without bike shorts with a chamois might get a little uncomfortable. So that's it for our look at saddle alternatives to the B17. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you still ride Brooks? Uh, if you've been a previous Brooks user and are riding a different saddle, what saddle are you guys using now? Are there any saddles that we should try? Let us know in the comments below or send us an email. Contact us via Facebook or Instagram or what have you. If you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want more bikey content where we nerd out about stuff like this then don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.